Hello all, this video is on home automation using voice recognition module VC02 manufactured by AA Thinker. This VC02 module can be used offline as well as online. This video we will see offline mode. This has got a high sensitivity mic and a speaker. Both are provided along with this VC02 AA Thinker module and it has got a USB socket and a CS340 IC for downloading uh, firmware. And it has got a reset button. At the back side, you can see the GPO pins. Uh, it can be supplied with 5 volt supply. On board, there is 3.3 volt, but it is 3.3 volt level IC. Uh, connect the high sensitivity mic and then the speaker to the uh, respective sockets. And then provide the power. Go to the AA Thinker website, log in using your uh, mail ID, and then click on create product. Under the create product, you have to select product category. Different uh, categories are there. Lamp, switch, large appliances and a huge list of uh, products. Let us select under uh, lamps, fan and uh, fan light. And then the mode is uh, offline. And the product is VC02. And then provide the product name. You can give any name. Let us provide it as VC02 Home Auto and then select language as English. If you see Chinese language at the right hand side top, you can click on English and then click on OK. Next is the pin configuration. All the pins are uh, listed here. Uh, each pin has got uh, uh, different uh, options. That is uh, either it can be GPO or RX or TX. We are using B3, B6 and B7. B3 we are going to connect LED. So scroll down to uh, GPU B3 and uh, confirm that uh, the default is low level and then click on at the 8th uh, position UART underscore TX automatically 7th position will go to UART underscore RX uh, leave it uh, border rate as 9600 8 and 1 and then the wake up word you have to feed in uh, it must be Chinese word let us select a Chinese word Ni Hao which means uh, hello in Chinese uh, other English uh, words it cannot uh, recognize only Chinese words as wake up and then the reply to the wake up uh, let us uh, leave it to default I am here please go ahead what can I do for you all these are uh, reply to the wake up word and then the command words this is very important setting command words it has two settings basic info and control details under the basic info uh, behavior uh, it should be led on or whatever you like name you can provide but there is, should be no space and the command word what command you will speak on so we'll put it on led on and the reply for the command or the module should reply so for led on led off will provide the uh, letters like but it will not recognize as led you have to speak out as led let us check uh, oh, finally and then light bulb on light bulb off fan on fan off so whatever reply you want the module to speak out you feed in the uh, uh, characters and then note down all the commands you are going to speak out to control the uh, module. We will be using a two channel relay board to control the module. All these commands you note down. Now you go to the control details tab. This setting is very important. Go to the LED on setting. And then select uh, uh, control type as a GPU B3. As we have connected LED at uh, GPU B3. You select the control type as GPU B3 and action as a setting and then parameter high level trigger as uh, 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 on receiving the command high, high level will be will appear at this B3 pin switching on the LED. Similarly for LED off control type is uh, GPU B3 and action is setting and it parameter is low level trigger so the LED will be off. For a light bulb and fan, the control uh, type 
control type should be uart underscore tx and action is send and the parameter you have to provide hex code two bytes of hex code uh, with space in between we will select 20 space a0 for the uh, light bulb on so this uh, hex code will appear and finally we will decode using the uh, code in the esp32 for a light bulb off you are selecting 20 a1 and for fan on 20b0 and fan off 20b1 you know doing this hex codes uh, it will be useful while uh, uh, creating the code uh, next we have the automatic study commands that is these commands will operate even without the wake up command for this you have to select the uh, commands from the left hand side and then click on the right arrow so that all the commands will appear in the right hand side box from here again you have to select the commands for the, so that it will work without the wake up command select a speaker male or uh, female and then set the volume to 100 percent as the speaker is small this is a must next is a welcome broadcast me broadcast message click the has boot broadcast and then feed in some welcome message so that when the power is on to the module it will speak out this welcome message then the quit command leave it to default as quit command and then click on save and then provide a description to this uh, product uh, home auto let us provide it as home auto and then click ok finally click build sdk so your request is sent to the aa server and it will take minimum 20 to 30 minutes so you can log out and then log in after 30 minutes now you can see the download uh, enabled click on download firmware not the sdk you click on download firmware you will get an output zip file unzip the output folder you have to do it twice unzip and inside this uh, output folder you see this file uni underscore app underscore release underscore update dot bin so underscore update is a must and use the uart burning uh, tool hummingbird uni one update link is given in the description below double click that uh, uh, file and then select the dot bin file that from the output folder you will see the com port once uh, you install the CS340 driver for the module. Select the bin file and then click on download button at the bottom. Now you will see yellow uh, uh, yellow bar. You have to press the restart, restart, reset button to start the download. You can see the percentage of uh, downloading. And once the download is completed, the yellow bar will change to green. Now you can close this uh, hummingbird tool. You can see, uh, get the voice now. So let us connect an LED at uh, IO pin, GPO pin B3 LED and then a resistor. Now let us check, reset. Welcome to AI voice automation. Ni hao. I am here. LED on. LED on. Red LED is up. Lead off. Red lead is off. Lead on. Red lead is off. Lead off. Red lead is off. Quit. Please call me if necessary. Ni hao. I am here. Lead on. Red lead is off. Lead off. Red lead is off. Next for home automation, automation we will be using a two channel relay, low enable relay. So connection is uh, like this, for uh, one relay we will be connecting lamp and another relay we will be connecting uh, fan. VC0 to RxTX is connected as shown. And LED is connected to uh, GP B3, GPO2 to IN1 and GPO16 six, and 17 to TX of VC0 to. And this is the uh, code for the ESP32. Here we are using hardware serial and the light pin is defined as GPO2 and then GPO15 for relay fan pin. Then hardware serial we start with the, using the pins defined and, and inside the void loop we wait for the command hex code that is uh, 20 and then A0. So for FIFO, first in, first out, we separate out the two bytes. 
so 20 is common byte and then the uh, first byte we verify using the case statement if it is a0 we switch on the light bulb so as it is low enabled we give low to uh, switch on the light bulb if it is a1 we switch off the light bulb b0 to switch on the fan b1 to uh, switch off the fan so upload the code and test let down let down let off fan on fan off light bulb on light bulb off quit and uh, let us see the relay connections in this two channel relay board each relay has got a uh, uh, pole normally open contact and normally closed contact we will be using pole and normally open to the pole uh, let us connect the neutral of the ac line we can also connect face but here we will be using uh, neutral and to the pole uh, is uh, neutral and to the normally open pin let us connect the load and the other end of the load will connect be connected to the face of the ac so when the relay operates from the pole the neutral will pause on to the load and uh, the load will operate so this is the idea let us connect uh, bulb to the relay one and fan to the relay two and upload the code and test the uh, code let on light bulb on light bulb off fan on fan off light bulb on light bulb off fan on light bulb off quit so this is the vc02 testing thank you for watching